Hello. Play school, little noise, Mary. Little kid's toy. I think there's six or seven songs in there. This thing chooses big buttons though. There's three of them. I like that one. It sounds like a frog. I like that. Anyway. Those buttons do that. Those will do that. Uh, my main intent, as always, is uh, pitch blend. Pitch bend. Just because I really enjoy it. I like they really slow and slow like that. That's a voltage divided pitch blend. I like that. Um, gives me the nice range that I can do. Got a couple of uh, resistors on either side of that to, to stop the peach. Pick peach. Oh, no, what am I saying here? The uh, peak. Um, you know what I'm saying. You know the words I'm saying here. Um, then I thought, as I'm playing with these guys, each one of these could be looped. I wanted them to loop, but I couldn't figure out how to do it because I couldn't find the loop on the actual board itself. So I threw a 401, uh, 4106 Hex Schmidt trigger with a bunch of oscillators on here and individually set these up to loop on an oscillator with a speed control and on off. And, well, sometimes it does that. Um, and since each one is pulling off different oscillators on the same chip and they've got the same ground and same power, I think they compete with each other funny, so they... I'm not sure the scientific side as to why this does... So I put them all up. It should, in theory, should also... Er, sequence? But it just does that. Which got me thinking, what if I threw a... All right, settle down. What if I threw a 40, uh, 4017 uh, decade counter in here? And uh, made a little sequencer. Now there's a funny glitch happening when I go slow. One of my oscillators jumps. Don't know why. I'm going to play with it a little more, but I think it's kind of neat that it just does that. Um, and I had to throw these guys in here because the buttons that I... The, the button wire that I have coming off the button for each of these goes to the looping oscillator. All right, settle down. Uh, off the loop into the looping oscillator as well into the 4017 uh, decade counter and there was some kind of conflict happening so I had to create a couple switches to switch whether it's going to oscillate uh, and loop or it's going to the the sequencer side so right now it's the sequencer side um, oh and I also did the loop on this guy I'm not going that way, turn him off so turn this guy on And this guy just makes a funny glitch. If I do it a couple times, sometimes it will do a other songs in the background. And they'll start playing on top of each other, which is kind of weird. Fun. And then I glitch it, or pitch it, throw the sequencer on, throw this guy on, throw it all on. A little bit of a weird nightmare, nightmare soundtrack. I like that. Low and low and grumbly. Cool. So there you have it. Oh, let's show you the inside here. It's a bit of a mess in here since I wanted to throw the chips in here. Um, I've had to throw a breadboard in there because I'm still the prototype boards and stuff that I'm using. I'm not very good at the soldering and the mixing and. Uh, this was a little complicated on the inside part. I'll show you this here. Um, yeah, you can see what's happening there. You know, all the bits and pieces and stuff. Um, yeah, that's the inside. There's a couple of batteries there, you know. Uh, the chips, as you can see. I'm just got back in here. And uh, yeah, that's a little standalone piece. It's just a funny little noise maker. Whoa. Ah, 
I like it. All right, that's it. Have fun. Go out, make some noise, have some fun, and uh, let's see what you make out there. Bye.